What is up everybody? 30 here and this time we're gonna talk about our list of upcoming PC games this 2019, 2020 and beyond. So here they are arranged in no particular order. Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. Sound the horns because if it's historical battles you want, then Mount and Blade 2 is ready to deliver. You know, soonish. First announcement in 2012, a mere 6 years ago, Bannerlord has been reportedly in development for over 8 years. And while that's a long time to wait for a game, updates from Tail Worlds Entertainment have been impressive enough to leave a significant mark, especially among their loyal PC fanbase. Built using the newest engine, look back 200 years before and step inside a beautiful Calradia and battle it out using its smooth physics and improved UI. Life outside a battlefield on the other hand is looking a little underwhelming for some, but with its 4 planned multiplayer modes including a siege mode, a duel mode, and a captain's mode that lets you man AI armies as well as your own character, there's enough to distract you from just that. Yet yeah, more room in the oven, there's no release date yet so stay tuned. Team Sonic Racing For Sonic, speed has always been the name of the game. But in the spirit of kart racing competition, he's leveling the playing field with his tiny new wheels. A spin-off title to the iconic Sonic series, Sega gives other consoles an answer to Nintendo's Mario Kart series. It brings together all of the Blue Hedgehog's rivals and favorite folks in a grander and more hilarious take on their classic ring collecting. What sets the Team Sonic Racing apart from all of the rest of its competitors is its co-op gameplay. Choose from a roster of 15 Sonic characters and zip past video game memory lane. For the true blue fans of the series, pun intended, you'll be delighted that there will be new Crush 40 songs to jam on to that extra dose of nostalgia. It's set to release this May 21st, 2019. Ouch. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 From the center of Manhattan to the capital, the virus is taking over the world one city at a time, and it's up to Tom Clancy's division to put a stop to the raging contagion. Taking place just 70 days after the original game, The Division 2 is set to continue the viral outbreak, this time in the familiar landscapes of Washington DC. In this sequel, the developers are aiming to focus on the endgame experience, which means there will be more challenges and activities even after the main campaign. Mixing in survival elements, join the fight for resources and basic necessities in a civilization on the brink of extinction. Try out new and exotic weapons and bring your friends in for the fight. If you want to find out more about what new features are in store, The Division 2 is currently on beta right now, and you can sign up. It's coming out this March 15, 2019. Matt, look out! Alright, let me try to get that tank off you. More bad guys on the other side of the plane. Grenade, grenade! Duke, come on. Yep, yep, yep. Matt, I need your help. Nice. Alright, just lay it on him. Again? Drop down. Oh, there goes his armor. Ah! You're on your own. Keep going! Good job. Level up! Ori and the Will of the Wisps. One pioneering masterpiece of modern Metroidvania. Ori's magical adventures continue in this exciting sequel. A platforming adventure that takes inspiration from the likes of Lion King, Iron Giant, and Hayao Miyazaki. The original title has been unanimously praised for its ethereal atmosphere that gives justice to its mythical tale. Going back to their enchanted forest, Ori and the Will of the Wisp is equally dreamlike in its presentation. Revolving around the titular guardian spirit and his newfound friends, help them rebuild their home after a mysterious sickness that cost plagued in its last installment. 
also praised for his unique gameplay mechanics. Ori returns with new combat maneuvers under his belt, like hook shots, burrowing skills, rolls, as well as the return of Bash. With this much range in melee and range attacks, players can have more personalized adventures depending on their playstyles. It's set to release sometime this 2019. Rage 2. Bethesda's sequel to their over-the-top shooter will be a wild ride for all of us. The next chapter since their 2010 game, Rage 2 is ramping up to the craziness in this revamped post-apocalypse. What makes this FPS stand out among the other post-apocalypse titles is how it takes the genre to Cronenberg levels, which means it's gonna be an ugly and chaotic world with a generous splash of color and no-holds-barred rampages. Coming from the two studios that created Doom 2016, just Cause and Mad Max, we know there's some big things coming in terms of shooting, vehicular action, and overall destruction. Unlike most titles, Rage 2 is an exclusively single-player experience, letting you take control of the last Ranger Walker. Set in a seamless, loading, screenless open world of mutants and radioactive sewers, we'll hopefully get to dive around the scenic deserts and get some powers along the way. It's coming out this spring 2019. Time to test out your new ability on him. Look at what you can expect. We'll have even more insanity to show off in the coming months. Babylon's Fall. The studio behind masterpieces like Bayonetta, Metal Gear Rising, and Nier Automata announced Babylon's Fall at E3 earlier this year. Since Platinum Games titles are mostly action games, we can expect this one will be too. In this one, they will be teaming up with Square Enix like what they did for Nier Automata. What else do we know about Babylon's Fall? Well, frankly, not much. Are you ready for this? The Oversoul was the catalyst that started humanity's advancement by supplying them energy to create weapons and see the future. A future that unfortunately was filled with darkness that threatened humanity's survival. After humanity inevitably falls and are so close to extinction, a god named Gaia saves them. Unfortunately, Gaia turns on them, leading humans to just stop trusting gods to save them all together. It's a truly mysterious game with a mysterious release date. Dying Light 2. We've all been playing zombie apocalypse games forever, but never anything quite like Techland's Dying Light 2. You parkour through this desolate city, trying to survive before the night falls, where freaky monsters come out and play. The zombies are not all you should be worrying about in this apocalypse. You still got that pesky survival thing you have to think about. Food, water, and other resources are scarce, and you know that these trying times, people start to show off their worst colors. Your choices affect your city so much more in this game. For example, if you side with the peacekeepers and follow all their rules, they can bring stability and progress to the city. But if you break their rules, they will break your face. Alternatively, if you side with the black market suppliers, you'll have access to some awesome deals. But you'll also attract suspicious people in your city. Excited? Uh, us too. Unfortunately, we still don't have any idea when it will be released. I shall therefore speak a word unto here. Anyone who dares to steal food will be hanged, and their bodies will be exposed. Every day we rise from dust to choose between bad and worse. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice Do Dark Souls and Bloodborne ring any bell? Well, this upcoming action game is developed by the very same studio, from software. If it's not enough to hype you up for this title, then here's two words for you. 
Ninjas and Samurais. Set in a fantasy version of the chaotic Sengoku period, the story revolves around the shinobi Sekiro and its quest to rescue his lord and seek revenge. While it deviates from their familiar titles, they have promised to add some of the trademark combat, but with more focus on jumping and mobility, like a ninja of course. This can be seen more prominently with a grappling hook-like mechanic that lets you jump from one roof to another for that perfect kill. Sekiro's katana and prosthetic arm combo will also open players up to wide range of strategies and attacks, especially with the game's stealth elements. Some downsides for this upcoming title though is its lack of multiplayer and character customization. But either way, it's set to release this March 22nd, 2019. Dirt Rally 2.0 Now if there's one racing game that's wowed the world since its release, it's Dirt Rally. Enjoyed by critics and gamers, the game has confidently bagged the top spots in our rankings. And now the series is shaping up to become the best in the business. With this upcoming release, Codemasters is aiming to exceed their last title, which might be a challenge. It's still a little weak on their number tracks. 2.0 will offer 6 real-life rally locations namely in New Zealand, Argentina, Spain, Poland, Australia, and the US. As the official game of FIA World Championship, players will get to ride across official tracks in different series. What will let down some fans though is the game's lack of VR support, which was one of the original's winning features. We're hoping developers change their mind with enough of our screaming demands. It's coming out this February 26, 2019. Total War Three Kingdoms. Heads up history nerds, Koei Tecmo might have explored these oriental territories in their long-running strategy romance of the Three Kingdoms. This will mark the first time for the Total War series. Other than its exploration of Japan with the Shogun titles, the series has mostly focused on the western parts of the world. Now expected to come just a year after 2018's Throne of Britannia, we'll be embarking on a fascinating dive into Chinese-style imperialism. A longtime favorite for history fans all over the globe, this new title will take on a romanticized perspective on the era. Take control of one of 11 factions as their respective legendary warlord and conquer with diplomacy and might with the Guangxi system of interrelationships. Feel the powers trickle through generals and marvel the smoothness of their dual animations, rendered in a style worthy of ancient China. It's set to release this March 6, 2019. Devil May Cry 5 Demon Sling is back on the menu. Capcom returns with full demonic power as they continue the iconic adventures of Dante and friends. Devil May Cry 5 is the biggest sequel ever. It follows the events years after DMC4 and it features a mature cast of characters including the return of Dante, Nero, Lady, Trish, and so much more. For the first time in the series, it has three playable characters. Nero, Dante, and the mysterious new character V. Among other improvements is its visual overhaul. This is the best looking DMC game as it uses Capcom's RE engine. Just like its predecessors, it is a crowning achievement of combat design. Hack and Slash remains as fluid as ever with more weapon variety, bosses, and a badass soundtrack to boot. So get ready to pull those devil triggers once the game comes out this March 8th, 2019.
Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown the arguably less popular AC title of the video game world. Ace Combat is one of those well-loved but criminally overlooked games, often described as the Metal Gear series of the skies. It's a Bandai Namco game that serves up impressive action flight simulation with a huge helping anime cheesiness. Consistently praised for its aircraft rosters and soundtracks, this newest title is shaping up to bring dogfights to the next level. The first main entry since 2007's Fires of Liberation, it will hopefully shed light on the legendary Lighthouse War. Sneaking into stealth territory, Ace Combat 7 will become even more Metal Gear, with a new gameplay feature that lets clouds act as cover while reducing visibility. Other good news for wannabe pilots is the additional of an optional VR mode that lets you take control of the cockpit in three special missions. It's set to release this February 1st, 2019. Are there any games you're looking forward to? Tell us more about them in the comment section. Or if you want to get some of our picks, you can click the links in the description box. You can also watch us test out new and awesome games at our gameplay channel, What to Play Live. Click that icon on the top right corner here. Starfield. Todd Howard, you did it again. I mean, not really. From the same people that brought us Fallout and Elder Scrolls, comes a sci-fi RPG that is a bit of a departure from their old titles. Bethesda unveiled Starfield at E3 this year, and this is their newest IP in about 25 years. They're finally starting to step out of their comfort zone, and we are all excited about it. From what we have seen so far, it might be safe to say that it will be an expansive sci-fi RPG set in our actual universe. Some leaks claim that there will be four different planets we could explore. One being as big as Skyrim's map, imagine that. It's possible that the player will be in control of a human character, although aliens will be featured in this game. Some leaks and rumors say it was planned to be released this 2019, but it could be pushed back to 2020. We don't know for sure though, as there is no official release date yet. Anthem BioWare's partnership with EA had a very bad start. While some of us are still on the fence about this newest title, at least EA promised us that there will be no more loot boxes in this game. So basically Anthem seems like EA's answer to Bungie's Destiny 2, relying mostly on Bioware's specialty in futuristic warfare to immerse us in exosuit battles. While it's facing a recent delay, there's been plenty of updates from the developers, the latest being a dive into their first mission and the introduction of ultimate abilities. While it's not exactly an MMO game, on top of the regular single-player campaign, it has also shaped a dynamic open world where players can meet other players around it, and it changes every time you play. Party with up to 4 players and go jetpacking round as Interceptors, Rangers, Storms, and Colossus. It's set to release this February 22nd, 2019. Dead or Alive 6, actually the 19th game of this series. This latest AAA 3D fighting game from Koei Tecmo is as fast-paced and sexy as ever. With over 20 well-designed playable characters, we can't wait to see more of these fancy heroes and heroines get to center stage and show their worth. Aside from that, the game improves its dramatic lighting that will focus more on the serious, intense combat. Players will feel every hit as the characters will drip with sweat, sustain wounds, and have varied facial reactions. Now that's Dead or Alive. Fights will be more strategic in DOA 6 with the introduction of special combat mechanics such as the Break Gauge, Break Blow, Break Hold, Fail Rush, Rumble Danger, and Mass Destruction. Mark your calendars for an action-packed Valentine's week when DOA 6 comes out on February 15th, 2019. Yeah! 
Resident Evil 2. Two Capcom games in one list? 2019 is going to be one heck of a year for these releases. Return to the nightmare-infested Raccoon City and this ground-up HD remake of the iconic Resident Evil 2. It features all the new things we know and love from the classic, but with a massive visual upgrade and improved gameplay elements. Follow Claire and Leon as they make it out alive of Raccoon City during the T-Virus outbreak. Featuring a redefined over-the-shoulder third-person combat, the undead is bound to be all around you. Its release is drawing near and its anticipation is slowly crawling our skins. The latest gameplay footage shows the return of the iconic Lickers. Looks like Resident Evil is back to its roots and we can't wait for its future updates. It comes out this January 25th, 2019. Biomutant. This THQ Nordic title has been hanging out in our most anticipated list for a while now. Though these days development updates are a little scarce, we're still holding out hope for this mesmerizing action RPG. Riding on the popularity of Marvel's Rocket Raccoon, but not really, Biomutant puts players in the furry paws of a raccoon-like character that seems fluent in the language of martial arts combat. Diving into a beautiful post-apocalyptic open world, it aims to redefine third-person combat by blending the diversity of the wushu fighting style with the intensity of shooting. Evolution and genetic modification is a recurring theme. In their post-apocalypse, radiation and biocontamination will lead to intriguing mutations like claws, tails, telekinetic powers, and more. It's a game rife with iconic inspirations, and Biomutant just might be next year's sleeper hit. Watch out for it this 2019. Wasteland 3. Coming up next is a crowd-funded squad-based RPG set in a post-apocalyptic Colorado. But don't worry, the devs has got a pretty good track record with the Wasteland series. Here you will be playing as a ranger squad, the last surviving member of Team November. You can tread on to frozen wastelands of Colorado by yourself or with a friend in a story-driven synchronous or asynchronous multiplayer. It might be a good idea to tag a friend along though in the journey because the savage lands of icy Colorado makes it extremely difficult to survive. You'll be faced with morally difficult choices and sacrifices that will affect the game's world. Every choice you make has an effect on mission opportunities, explorable areas, story arcs, and many more. It's expected to release this 2019. Doom Eternal Saving some of you from the confusion, this is id Software's sequel to their Doom 2016. Despite the lack of Roman numerals in that extra subtitle, Doom Eternal is, for many, shaping up to become the best id Software shooter yet. What with the success of their reboot, fans are looking up to the sequel for their more dose of hellish entertainment. Backed by a solid 90s foundations and their breakout reboot, this sequel takes us back to the shoes of the Doom Slayer, who's hellbent on destroying whatever demons comes in this way. With the added mobility of his grapple-powered super shotgun and the many monkey bars scattered in the fiery depths, players can go straight into the action with the improved glory kill system. With Doom 2016's less than stellar multiplayer, Doom Eternal's invasions are coming to fill that void, letting you dive into other players' campaigns as the demons themselves, raising the bar for an already legendary shooter. No release date yet. Skull and Bones. Inspired by Assassin's Creed's naval battles, Ubisoft went on to create an action adventure wholly revolving around just that. Doing away with the Assassin's boring land lubbing, Skull and Bones is anchored on the ups and downs of the pirate life. 
letting you sail around the seven seas of what it's called the golden age of piracy. Building on what they started in Black Flag, this new title promises to expand the life at sea, particularly in crew and combat. Choose the best ship for your playstyle and pack it with upgrades and artillery that's perfect for plundering enemy ships. It's mostly a multiplayer experience in an open world of the Indian Ocean, opening you up for emergent gameplay as you shall sail solo or with your very own pirate gang. However, a peg down for the game's realism is the game's lack of boarding, which means that all the action is set exclusively on your own ship. It's coming out this 2019. Code Vein. Drawing inspiration from their iconic hit franchise Dark Souls, Bandai Namco is gearing to give us another open world RPG. And everyone has been so excited about it ever since it was announced in 2017, especially those who have played the in development versions of the game. There's not much info about it as of the moment. They even pulled it off at Gamescom 2018 to preserve their big reveal until they ultimately release it to the masses. Since it's created by the same people who made God Eater, we can assume that this game, set in a post-apocalypse crawling with vampires, will have a solid story. Previously announced to come out this year, the developers announced that they will, unfortunately, postpone the release date to 2019, so they have more time to perfect the game. Beyond Good and Evil 2. The sequel to the cult classic is coming out soon on the PC. It has been a long time coming. This follow-up was first announced 9 years ago. It has been delayed over and over, but now we can hope a little more with the release of their gameplay demo. Beyond Good and Evil 2 is set in a universe where space pirates are a thing. The character you play is actually one of these space pirates. The story is about their quest to find the Kini, the last pirate captain who mysteriously disappeared when he went out searching for a sacred relic. The demo is looking great so far, but for now, that's all that is, a demo. It's too early to tell if the actual game will be as awesome. There's no release date yet. Gears 5. At E3 this year, Microsoft announced Gears 5. Yes, Gears 5, not Gears of War 5, as we all expected. And it comes with an all-new protagonist called Kate. And according to the devs, it just felt natural to have Kate to be the protagonist, as in the previous game was all about finding her mother. It also seems that they'll be shifting the focus away from the turmoils of war for humanity and onto exploration, which isn't a bad thing because Gears 5 will have the most expansive world the series has ever seen. With a bigger world comes with bigger baddies, of course. The Gears of War Twitter account is always updating us with new enemies like the heavily armored Warden and the Swarm Flock. Additionally, there's a book that contains concept art, character and creature designs among other things for the Gears 5 universe that's called the Gears of War Retrospective. It comes out this April 23rd, 2019. But the main game, however, is coming out sometime this 2019. Cyberpunk 2077 with cyberpunk invading the mainstream with its ideas of revolution and questions of what makes a human human, it was only about time when it conquered the realm of video games. And who else to face it head on other than the rock stars of CD Projekt Red? Winning the world over with the exhilarating freedom and immersion of their Witcher series, Cyberpunk 2077 promises the same, just with less medieval magic and more neon-tinged futurism. An adaptation of a Pondsmith tabletop, one of the surprises about the game is its first-person perspective, which might be a plus of immersion. Another plus is their deep customizations for their character V that includes gender, childhood traumas, origin stories, and so much more. 
It's a plus narrative-wise, especially together with its branching choices and side quests that will impact the main story. And if you've seen its hour-long gameplay, you'll know what we're talking about. No release date yet, but there are speculations for a 2019 release, hopefully. Metro Exodus. Radioactive Moscow is just around the corner in this third and massive entry to 4A Games' epic story-driven first-person shooter. Set after the events of Last Light, Archim takes center stage once again in his efforts to rebuild society and ultimately the world. Survival is at its most essential in this sequel since most of the game takes place outside of the metro. No longer players are met with creepy crawlies under the complex Russian railway system. Now the creepy crawlies are all around the barren cities of Moscow's nuclear winter. Customize your gas masks and weapons on the fly with its improved first-person elements. Get ready for the most atmospheric post-apocalyptic game on the market. It's coming out this February 22nd, 2019. And those were the upcoming PC games this 2019, 2020, and beyond. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to become a certified what to player. And that's it everybody, 30 here, and see you next time.